Hello everybody and welcome back to East 5. Welcome to the video where I actually get somewhere. I'm gonna jump over that monument, see if you have anything new to say. No! On to the first dungeon then. And you've been standing there all that time even while Adol took a nap at the inn. That's dedication for you. Okay, since we are underground, we cannot take advantage of, uh, Adol's healing factor. Yeah, I found East 5 to be a lot better than what was said, but... Even though that may have been just because I had, uh, recently finished Lagoon before playing East 5. You know, for some reason or other. This is a relatively short dungeon. Yes, those things are enemies, and if you touch their little sparkly bits uh, when they go boom, they hit you for quite a bit of damage at this point in the game. Rats always drop apples. You will never get money from them. Yes, another of the intensely overpowered heal potions. The thing about heal potions in East 5 is that they're percentage-based, not, uh... a, uh, flat number-based. We'll come back to her later. They heal 60% of your hit points and you can carry 10 of them. So, while they're a little bit costly for us now... Later on, you will pretty much have no excuse from to uh, die from injury. This is one of the many things that was altered in Nepishtim. Okay, we found the girl! So awesome that he disappeared. It's not a hard cave to navigate. This isn't the Rastin Mine or something. You have full visibility. Corridors are nice and wide. This would be against my better judgment, but Adol is the adventurer here. Hint, hint! Well, that's what you get. I can't wait to get a non-thrusting sword. Well, great, now what have we done? Oh. Please don't be evil. Well, that's a rarity. Usually, uh, unnaturally immortal wizards are all about killing us.
I'm not entirely sure this was the best idea. Just some normal monsters. Don't know what he was on about. Oh yeah, now I will demonstrate the damage that the little light puffs can do to you. Totally intentionally, sure. Huh! And they still drop the gem. I decided to use one of my heal potions here, you know, just for safety reasons. Okay, Stoker was right to tell us to be cautious because now we have to fight our first boss. Like all bosses, he has attacks that cannot be blocked by your shield. that heat ray. Oh yes, something else about projectiles in this game. One of the problems with uh, East 5 is that you can't actually jump over projectiles. You see, pr projectiles don't actually check for where Adol is on the Z-axis, so as long as the uh, projectile sprite lines up with Adol's shadow, it will uh, hit him. bit of an oversight. But it looks like we didn't need to use the heal potion after all. Another level gained. <laughs> this is only the beginning of Adol's sword-related shenanigans. You should have stuck around until Ark of Nepeshtim. <laughs> well... We released an immortal wizard into the world. Hope that was a good idea. Great, maybe we can get to leave this town. Talk to people that are reasonable. There's someone else I needed to talk to. Turns out it's not this guy. As I said, Highland was more welcoming. Okay, we are bro. Oh, 
Okay, the element pieces are what are used for creating magic. But we won't be covering that this video. There's some plot stuff we need to deal with first. problems is that uh, those uh, bug things tend to have a larger hitbox than they look like they do. You know, forget Mr. Dorman. You got a girl to meet. from the opening cutscene. By the way, you can actually buy things from uh, Nyana, but we're not going to. She sells potions and antidotes and that sort of thing. It's almost strange to deal with a story where there are other adventurers around besides Adol. Then again, East has always been about presenting a somewhat larger world uh, than uh, other RPGs. You're telling me. Yeah, yeah, for the greater good and all that. I just talked to you! Well, that's not a good sound.
There we go. Nope. You didn't see nothing if you knows what's good for you. No doubt. Oh, I have control now. You don't say. Out with it. No guarantees. Even if it is somewhat easier than other East games, it is still an East game. Yeah, I actually had to delete some of my older saves to avoid spoilers. But anyway, next time on uh, East 5, we head to the marshlands. See you then.